Hello, my name is Benjamin Needham with Needham Ag Technologies and in this video we're going to show you some things to look for on a newer model box drill like a 1560 or a 1590. Here we are still at the back of the drill and whenever you first come upon one of these that you're looking at to possibly purchase just walk around it and see if you see anything major wrong with it before you even look at the openers just make sure there's no frame cracks make sure it doesn't have any flat tires oftentimes if you climb up on it and look inside the hopper it'll tell you two things number one it might be really rusty and that's a problem and number two if it's full of seed and it's really moldy and really mouse eaten it probably shows that if the previous owner didn't care enough to vacuum it out before they got rid of it then they probably didn't take the best care of the wearing parts on the drill so be really cautious of stuff like that. Now we're gonna go up to the front of the drill and look at some things. Here we are at the front of the drill and first I'd like to talk to you about the markers. Whenever we received this drill, we tried the markers and they did not sequence correctly. The sequencing block is, doesn't work for some reason. We've gotta take that apart and look at it. So if it's maybe at a dealership or a friend that you know, you might have them bring a tractor over and just hitch it up so that you can try the markers and try to make sure that the opener is raised and lower correctly. And then that'll tell you if the, if the block's good and all your hoses are good and all your cylinders are good and there's no major lakes, it'll tell you stuff like that. Now, again, with the hydraulic hoses, we received this drill pretty recently and the first thing I did was replace two hydraulic hoses We've got our own crimper here, so that's pretty convenient to be able to change hoses out in a real short time. And then also the tire here, we're getting that switched out right now. The tire was so dry rotted that it was actually leaking out of the dry rot cracks and it would go flat in about one day. So we're gonna get a brand new tire here. We've looked at the other three tires and they're okay. We're not gonna change them at this point but with the tires being upwards of 200 250 dollars a piece that could be a big contributing factor of what you need to pay for the drill now i'd like to take a minute and show you about the rock shaft the rock shaft is the four by four piece of metal that the openers clamp to now on this drill whenever we received it the front one has already been replaced you can tell it's not factory just by the the pitting on the metal and then the type of paint, you can tell it's been replaced before, but it was a, a good fix it looks like. The one on the back is currently broken and that will need to be replaced next. Now you do not have to buy a rock shaft from John Deere. You can go to your local steel dealer and you can buy uh, just cold rolled steel four by four with quarter inch walls and then cut it to length and that'll work just as good. But the most common place where the rock shafts break is in the very center where the hanger goes around them. They often crack right inside or right next to the hanger. Here we are at the back of the drill. A minute ago I talked to you about some of the cosmetic issues such as the tires or the hydraulic hoses or the cups which could be broken or busted and need to replace which could be pretty costly and could affect the price you need to pay on the drill but most importantly is the openers. You can have a drill that's faded so bad that it doesn't even look like John Deere green, and a lot of people would say, oh, it's in bad condition just because the paint's faded and all, but it really depends on the openers more than anything because that's gonna be the most expensive thing to fix. So you obviously need to check the discs and the boots first. Those are the two most important things. The discs are new at 18, they need to be replaced at 17. The seed boots are shot when they begin to wear upwards, which we show in a different video on YouTube when to replace your seed boots. This opener right here, you can tell that there's a bunch of mud wadded in between the gauge wheel and the disc, which shows you obviously something's bent. Then I haven't taken it apart yet, but I would say either the gauge wheel or the gauge wheel arm one if not both of them is bent and will need to be replaced so you need to be looking at little things like that too a big one is make sure the openers adjust the shaft that the gauge wheel bolts to which goes all the way through the opener it can lock up and cause you not to be able to adjust your depth 
and that's a real big problem trying to, to change that out. So make sure your gauge wheel bearings are good, make sure your farming wheel bearings are good, make sure your closing wheel bearings are good, make sure neither your springs are broken, just a lot of, a lot of different things to look for in the openers. I hope you found this video useful and interesting. At our company, Nita Mag Technologies, we sell most every wearing part for these openers on a 60 or 90 series drill. Please visit our website at NitaMag.com. If you really like the video, feel free to like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.